Hi there and welcome to Shooting and Country TV and today we're going to take a look at this little beauty. It's the uh, latest release from Pulsar. It's the Krypton which is, uh, well it can do a few things really but its primary use is as a front mounted thermal so you can basically turn a day scope into a thermal scope in a matter of seconds. Uh, it uses the same sensor as the Helion 2 and the Accolade 2 and the Trail 2. Uh, it's 640, uh, the basic sensor size, and um, it's a lovely image, but it does a few of the little things as well. Um, you can buy this unit as is, as a single piece, or you can buy it with this add-on, which you basically just slot on the back, snap in, and you've got a fixed 5 mag thermal spotter as well, um, which is great, and for £130 it's, uh, it's a bargain really. Um, there is a slight downside. The main unit is 4K, as in £4,000. So um, yeah, it's expensive. It's an expensive piece of kit. But let's not write it off. It definitely has some uses. And when I first got the unit, this arrived and this arrived, but this bit, which is the connecting collar, didn't. So I had plenty of time so I could play with a the thermal, which basically gives it a, a 5x magnification. Um, it's, it's basic in terms of controls. Uh, if you sort of look at some of the other uh, thermals on the market, you cannot up mag and down mag with it. It's a fixed magnification of 5, um, which is fine. And uh, for £130, it's, uh, it's a bargain. But the unit itself is a little bit pricey. So as I say, this arrived first, along with this unit, uh, a few days later. This lovely Conquest arrived, the Conquest V6, this one, and it's a 2 to 12. And the thing with these units is, is you do want them to be on a scope that suits them. And uh, ideally, you want something between sort of 2 and 3. I had a little bit of a problem when this uh, unit <laughs> arrived because I had uh, some late season Roebuck stalking lined up, um, which would be followed up by some foxing. So. A perfect test for this really um, we could use the day scope during the day on the on the deer plug this on and go foxing in the evening um, so I actually put the uh, the Krypton onto my 243 which happened to have a Hawk Frontier 4 to 20 on it um, which isn't ideal for it but uh, I thought we'll give it a try so off we went unfortunately it arrived too late to do the deer stalking but the foxing was on um, Pop this on the uh, the frontier and um, managed to take a fox at 176 meters. I think we ranged it at. Um, no shift in point of impact. It uh, did an absolutely cracking job. Um, the picture quality is excellent. I had no trouble ID in the fox and um, it was a very straightforward shot. Um, apart from it being black and white, it was uh, <laughs> pretty much the same shot you'd take with the, with the standard scope. Basically, you take this, these little inserts, collar inserts, you pop those in. There's already one in there for this particular scope. Um, there's a whole menagerie arrived with the, uh, with the connector, so you can basically fit it to anything you like. Uh, and you just, um, well, you just pop it on, like so. There's a little section here where you, it's threaded up. So basically, what you do now is just bolt this section onto the main section like so. We'll cut away at this point because it's quite a long thread. And there you go. It's in place. Once you've got it on there, you just throw the little lever, line it up, and that's it. You're good to go. You turn your day scope into a 640 thermal. Um, the downside, of course, is the price. Uh, £4,000. 4K. It's a lot of money. However, the more I've used it, the more I've kind of started to accept the cost a little bit. Um, mostly because I haven't paid it. Um, but the bottom line is, if you had a day scope set up, you had your rig already on there, you knew your scope inside out, you knew your rifle, and you just wanted that instant change, it's a great way. You basically just flick that lever, pop it on and off. And uh, I've had it for quite a while now. And I've used it on everything. I've put it on uh, air rifle, I've put it on FAC air rifle, it's been on uh, 2.2 rimfire, it's been on the 243, 
Um, and if you don't want to build a dedicated kind of night rig and day rig, the 4K makes more sense. You know, you've got the cost of the rifle, you've got the cost of the IR or the thermal scope you'll be putting on it. You start to add that up. 4K starts to make a little bit more sense. And uh, I'll be honest, I really, really like it. Uh, it's beautifully made built like a tank it's never going to go wrong there's a section here with this little locking collar and you probably can't see it but if you slacken those off this it's on a sort of ball and socket arrangement and you can just adjust it so it's perfectly centered in the scope tweak those down with an allen key and you're good to go um, you barely need to touch it to be honest with you and um, the control system obviously the scope still handles all the magnification it's good it's it's perfectly shootable all the way up to about eight. At six, you do start to see some pixels, but you don't see pixels as such. You kind of see the pixel sights. It kind of cross hatches uh, the image slightly. Um, but you could whack this up to 12 and easily take a shot, to be honest, but it's comfortable. It's comfortable. You don't really notice the pixelization at all up to about six. Um, but it's a great solution. It really is a nicely put together piece of kit. Um, uses the standard battery, the control system, you look at through the uh, viewfinder and it's all arranged in a kind of carousel setup. So you just kind of, instead of the usual up down with the, with the pulsar selectors, you basically go around the carousel and then you jump into whatever section it is and tweak it. Um, you don't have the big uh, selection of color schemes, which to me doesn't really matter. You have hot black and um, white hot and black hot, should I say. Um, that's all I ever use, to be honest with you, and uh, it works really well. It's very simple. Uh, you've got brightness, contrast control, you've got the, the environmental modes that you get with the pulsars. Um, if you've driven a pulsar of any type, whether it's an IR or a thermal, you'd have no trouble at all um, controlling this. In terms of focus, you just use the dial at the front. That's how you actually do your, your focus adjustment. Mag on the back, focus on the front, and you just use these little sort of four-way selector to pick what you want to do and um, the only other little add-on that's uh, of interest on the side we have a Picatinny rail uh, now obviously scopes of this sort thermals don't need torches so it appears that there's a bolt-on pulsar the rangefinder on the way well that's about it that's the review of the Krypton um, great piece of kit obviously it's a it's a lot of money but uh, it's a lot of money to build a completely separate rig uh, for night shooting, so uh, it's not without its merits. Um, there's a full review in the December issue of Rifle Shooter, so uh, please check that out. And uh, no doubt I'll see you soon. Bye for now.